But you know the unbeliever, they, they might ask this question, and you might get this out, so I'm winning as well. They'll say something like, but if God knew I wasn't going to believe, why did he create me? Have you ever had people ask you that? Well, they say, if God knew I wasn't going to believe and I would just go to hell, then why did God even create me? Why didn't God just not create me and then I wouldn't have to go to hell? So how do you answer this question? Well, you know, you have to realize what the intent behind this question is because what they're really trying to do with that question is they're trying to blame God as the reason why they're going to hell. You know, because they're, you know, they're saying, well, if God created me and I'm sinning, you know, then God's sending me to hell. But then we have to realize that it was their free will. We have free will in this world in order to reject or accept the Savior. And they've rejected the Savior and that's why they're going to hell. It's not the reason why God created them. So they're trying to make you know, the fact that they're going to hell the reason why God created them and now accusing God of being a monster and accusing God of being unjust that he would just create somebody and just have pleasure to damn them to hell. But that's not why God created them. Um, let's go back um, to Genesis. Because when we go to the very beginning where God actually created man, we see why God created man. Right? Why God wanted to create man and what he wanted to do for man. So God didn't create somebody to damn them. You know, uh, so that person's rejection of the Savior is not what damns them anyway. Because remember, the Bible says, you know, uh, he that, uh, you know, God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth, um, oh, I'm trying to quote it from memory, but. But it says here, and um, he that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already. Why? Because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So the reason why people are condemned is not because um, God just created them to condemn them to hell, but because God created them, they rejected the Savior, and that's what condemns them to hell. But if we go to Genesis 1, we see why God why God created man and what God wanted to do for man. In Genesis 1.26, it says here, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female created he them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb-bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat. And it was so. And then we get to that verse, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. So you see, God didn't create man just to damn him to hell, or even just, just to worship him, even though that's one of the reasons why we are created. We're created to fear God and keep his commandments. One of the reasons why God created us was not to damn us to hell, but to bless us. So it's like when you have children. I mean, you don't have children because you want to, to, to damn them and you want to, to, to make their life miserable. You, you're bringing them up so that you can just send them out into this wicked world. No, you had children because you wanted to be a blessing to them. You wanted to provide for them. You wanted to them to experience life. Because if God had never created them, they would have never experienced all the blessings that they experience today. The love, the, the friendships, the, the positive things and the pleasures of this life. And this is why God wanted to create them. God created them to enjoy these things. And that's why we see here in Genesis, he created them and then gave them dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over all creation. He gave them things to eat because he wanted to bless them. He said he blessed them and said unto them, be fruitful and multiply. Verse 